the cardamom rainforest. Nearly two million hectares of pristine wildlife-filled wilderness. Javan rhino have already been poached to extinction here for the supposed medicinal value of their horns, along with tigers prized for the alleged healing properties of their bones, whiskers, and paws. I'm about to see the full scale of what the cardamom wildlife is up against. My driver sang so that there's something I should see here. Oh my God. There are over four and a half thousand chainsaws, homemade guns, and 22,000 snares here all of them seized off poachers and loggers in the surrounding cardamom forests. This is how extinctions happen. And this is how we're in the situation we're in right now. But one group of people have decided enough is enough. The Wildlife Alliance. These armed rangers are fighting back against illegal hunting here, by water, land, and air. So far, the rangers have recovered over 300,000 snares, made 876 arrests, and eliminated elephant poaching from nearly 2 million hectares of forest. And that's just one part of their work. Nick Marks leads the Wildlife Alliance's rescue and rehabilitation team, who dedicate their lives to giving trafficked animals their freedom back. I arrived just in time to meet a very special guest heading out for her daily walk in the forest. Everyone. A sun bear. We call her Golab, which means rose. She's been hand-raised from a tiny baby. As a result, she's not frightened of people. So as she grows up, we must kind of wean her away from people. She mustn't see people as, as friends or playthings. Frankly, the most dangerous thing for her from now on will be humans. Some bears are prized targets for poaching. Their meat is a symbol of social status, and as people's spending power increases, demand is spiraling. Thankfully, this curious little bear faces a brighter future. It'll be at least another year before Colab is independent enough to be released back into the wild. Mm -hmm.